Good morning. So, for whatever reason, a lot of people, a surprising amount of people, want to see a day in the life. So, here we are. Uh, first things first, 6.30 a.m., remote client. So, gonna FaceTime them, run them through a workout. That's how we start the day. Personal training session is over. Time for me to get caffeinated, make my Instagram post for today, and then I need to drop my car off at the shop because it's making weird sounds, and I have 11 hours of driving on Friday. So, I need to make sure that's all set. All right, now we gotta get some meal prep before we go work out and coach. Got some chicken, yogurt, some uh, noodles. Um, off my diet since I'm at uh, my parents' house. So with being, with being off my diet, or just the normal way I eat, I kind of just gotta throw whatever food is available. And that chicken and rice noodles is the, is the play today. All right, there's the gear. Like I said in the unboxing video, I'm putting on my uh, putting on my lower body, doing filming some stuff, some content. So it's gonna be the first time. It's gonna be the first time that I'll put on gear in three years. So you have to see that. It's gonna be bad. <laughs> All right, off to On Ice Hockey Training Performance Center. This is the facility that I grew up training in with Coach Derek Bujan. So for me, I'm gonna get a workout in, and then I have two lessons, actually two EGM goalies, uh, George Sermon's all the way up from Arizona, Ethan Carlone's coming in from Windsor. So excited to get those skates in today and get some content. All right, time for the first skate of the day. Let's go. And you wanna beat it on your feet, but he shoots it mid movement. So it's not, you're not opening your toe, it's shuffling into that save. So it also gives you the advantage if say Pete, that one timer guy decides to stock up on it, you can hold your feet. Yep, it's like that. Down early, patience. So you gotta reach with your hands on that one. So in this situation, that shot, what hand is Mario? Left. He's left, so what does that mean on this side? One -timer. It's a one-timer, so that shot comes quick. So your pr priority again is that shot. So you lead with that toe, smother with the glove, and then hit your RVH. So you're not sliding it in like a, Toe looks fine. You're not eliminating the X. He's, he's 15 feet in front of you. You can't truly react to that. You're reading the release. Yeah. So as you extend, if he shoots far side, there has to be some extension. You know, that's when we talked about, you know, having a hassle, whether you use it or not, you have to at least extend, because now that brings my shoulders, that brings my hips down. If you just go straight, grab it here, you're not tall enough to completely eliminate the bottom of the ice. And that's why he beat you just outside the toe. So extend that foot. It's so like, think about that, that string, that glove and your skate are on a string. So as one move, they move together, like a, what like a marionette things? Like a marionette. What's, oh, what's yeah. Pinocchio? Pop it? I don't know. Me too. If you missed, hot puck. Who's that hot puck? Yeah, I got that thing. Threes. Four, three. 
does this game so easy at 3 0. It's a loss. <laughs> Five three. I knew that was coming. You all, you always have to put those on the ice. Three years, over three years since I put this on. Oh, here we go. Well, since I wasn't planning on skating ever again. Um, I have to wear my player skates because my goalie skates are up at tech and I am back home. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is wild. All right, the first butterfly in three years. Oh, st still got it. Player skates, not ideal. <laughs> oh, don't tempt me with a good time. Okay, first time on the ice in three years, and I gotta be honest, that felt really weird. And I'm gonna be real with you guys, like I, when I retired, I, I was not happy with the game of hockey, and I was not happy with myself. And it was really, it's a surreal feeling to put it on, because I'll be honest, I moved a lot better than I thought I was going to. And like, in my brain, I'm like, Jamie, you can make a comeback, you can do it. But I know that honestly, like towards the end, it wasn't very good for my uh, my mental health. But it, it it was nice to put it back on, and I think it is nice to know that I can still move. And I think I could probably still play if I really tried. But at this point in my life, I just enjoy coaching too much. But maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll film more stuff, more content, more educational content. Because at that point in my this point in my life. Not trying to make the NHL. I mean, if I won the lottery, maybe I'd go play somewhere in Europe just to just to play and have an adventure. But it, it was uh, it was it's, I could still move, and I kind of laugh because it's surreal. Because I thought for sure I was gonna feel a lot worse, but maybe that just goes to show that uh, my training programs are good for goalies. I don't know. Shameless plug right there, but. It was good. I'm glad. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this. Um, I know I'm new to more long form content. Usually, I'm just quick on the internet, and I know I might uh, might not be the most entertaining person. Or I just hope you enjoyed it because it's the first time in a long time, and it's an emotional kind of roller coaster right now. But appreciate you guys for watching. You know, like, subscribe. Like I said, I do a lot of educational this stuff, but I'm trying to do more long form. And if you liked it. Let me know what kind of stuff you guys want to see. Appreciate it.